everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be a bit different i literally just got back from tesco i literally decided to meditate i meditated for 15 minutes in my room and then i decided to go out to tesco um i walked there didn't take my phone or anything because i just want today's like a refreshing day for me so in today's video it's a bit different i'm gonna be making a juice and i thought i'll just come on here and explain to you why i juice my methods of juicing and just the importance of getting all the nutrients you need in your diet so stay tuned for more let's talk about juice now some of you guys might be thinking like what is she on about like you go to tesco you buy your orange juice your one pound box orange juice and you just drink it with meals like that's how i um thought of juice before i started doing research obviously for those of you who don't know i have decided to start living a vegan plant-based you know what i wouldn't even use the term vegan to describe my way of eating it's more like plant-based whole food idol you know if you don't know what idol means it's um a word rooted from jamaica i am part jamaican and idol basically means eating for liberty eating foods that are natural that have grown from the ground and just eating to fuel your body you know because certain foods out there that are marketed to us are not necessarily to fuel our body they're loaded with chemicals and stuff etc etc so i'm trying to live as natural as possible um, so the reason why I'm talking about juice today is because a lot of people don't know that yes it may be labeled orange juice or apple juice but it is not pure juice from an apple or from an orange what it is is it's diluted with um, acidity regular in fact in fact let me go and get an orange juice out of my fridge with this way of living you really have to focus on nailing down what ingredients are good for you what ingredients are bad for you typically when you're looking at your foods if you can't read what the ingredient is or if it is something that you do not even know what it is that is not something you should be consuming you need to be consuming things that you know are good for your body that you know are full of nutrition and health benefits so the reason why i wanted to get this is to show a comparison now there's a big difference between this and this this is packed with artificial sugars, it's packed with acidity regulators, emulsifiers, it's packed with um, anti fake antioxidants, it's packed with um, preservatives, whereas this is an orange. It's like a whole fruit full of juice, full of micronutrients, full of vitamins and minerals. Like there's a big difference between these now this has become more accessible just because we're more lazy and we're not really taking the time out to you know make our foods from scratch which is another thing a part of my new way of eating and making everything from scratch hence the video today so let me show you a few things i bought from tesco already gotten the gist of what I'm going to be doing today I'm basically going to be making my own juice from scratch I wanted to make it like a kind of tropical type of type of vibe so I'm going with fresh oranges fresh um, grapefruit fresh pineapple and fresh mangoes I have a masticating juicer that I bought off of eBay a long time ago probably when I was in uni so probably like two years ago and basically the reason why you want a masticating juicer is because it squeezes it presses the juice rather than shredding it to pieces and destroying some of the nutrients it presses it keeping all the nutrients intact i'm gonna be making my own juice today show you how easy it is and just to show you a bit of the process how you can make your own juice at home because we want in 2022 we want less of this and more of this now let's go to the kitchen okay so here i'm just getting out everything i need to make my juices as you can see the juicer has quite a few parts to put together but to be honest it's very simple everything slots into each other and it takes about a minute to assemble so while we're here i just thought i'd come and explain some of the benefits of juicing and why you should make your own juice reason number one is that you get a more concentrated amount of vitamins and minerals um, this is because you know the vitamins and minerals aren't filtered out by heat treatment or blending or unnatural chemicals you get all of the nutrients and vitamins from the fruit straight into the juice reason number two because you've broken the fruit down removed the fiber and created a liquid form 
it allows easier absorption of nutrients because our body doesn't have to take the time to digest and break down the fiber it can just absorb all the nutrients that are stored in the juice and reason number three is because of all the vitamins and nutrients you're receiving it will increase your energy and give you energy that will last you throughout the whole day while we're here, I just wanted to point out that I never have a juice as a meal replacement. I will enjoy a large cup of fresh juice alongside my plate of dinner. Here I'm actually making it ahead of time so that it's ready and chilled for when I'm ready to eat my food. So it's a simple process of just cutting up different fruits and vegetables that you want to put into the juice. Um, you, you pass it through the juicer and it will collect at the bottom. So in this juice, I ended up using about four oranges, one grapefruit, half of a cucumber, I squeezed half of a lime, half of a pineapple, and I also used one whole mango. I also want to point out that I always taste as I go, just in case anything else needs to be added. So the next step is to strain out the pulp. So the juicer does actually collect the pulp, but sometimes there's extra pulp left in the juice. One thing I wanted to point out here is that you should always store your fresh juice in glass jars. Um, I've previously reused old jam and honey jars to store my juice for maximum freshness. I also wanted to point out that I leave a little gap at the top of each jar so that when I freeze them there's enough space for the liquid to expand as it freezes and this will prevent the glass jar from cracking. And here we have it guys, freshly made juice. That literally took all of 15 minutes. It literally didn't take that long. As you can see, I saw my juices in glass, glass jars. I just bought a pack from um, Hobbycraft. They just sell it in crates. So I bought like a pack of 12 jars. You saw them in jars. The ones you are not gonna use today, like this will probably be all I drink today from the batch. So I'll drink this, put one in the fridge and one in the freezer because juice stays fresh for about one to two days so you don't want your extra jars just chilling in the fridge so i always freeze some and then i always freeze some and then keep a fresh batch in the fridge just in case i want one today or tomorrow but yeah literally let me let me do a taste test guys when i say when i say this tastes bomb like it tastes absolutely amazing it's refreshing obviously i've got my eyes it's refreshing it's smooth there's no added water in it i didn't add any water to the recipe sometimes you can but it dilutes the taste so maybe if you're giving it to children or something you can dilute it with water but it's literally so refreshing so nourishing so hydrating like this is literally a homemade tropical juice what i just made today so i ended up putting the whole grapefruit because sometimes grapefruit makes things taste really bitter but that's why i taste as i go and then i wanted to add like a kind of some a different kind of taste to counteract the sweetness so i added some cucumber you can't really tell because the drink is orange um but yeah it's a good way of sneaking in vegetables like you can put some kale in it you can put whatever in it but because the fruits are natural sweeteners um it, it tastes like a fruit juice like it doesn't taste like it's got no cucumber nothing so hopefully this is motivation to somebody out there to make your own juice is really not hard even if you don't have a juicer you can use a blender and strain it so what i used to strain it was a produce bag um you can you get cheese strainers or specific strainers but literally in our aldi they were used to give it away but now they sell it but i mean when they were giving it away that's when i got loads it's like these mesh bags to put your produce in but i realized it's literally the same thing as a cheese strainer so i just use it to strain the pulp out of my juice so that it's literally just the water content from the fruits fruits are so hydrating it made a lot of juice and it's absolutely delicious like it tastes 10 out of 10 and you know there's no additives no preservatives no nothing in here if you wanted it to last longer longer than maybe a day or two put lime in it 
plants meant to keep it fresh for longer but honestly with fresh juices you want to drink it while it's lively to give you that liberty so drink it within one to two days and that's all for today's video i'm going to be sharing my lifestyle if you don't know i eat plant-based whole food i talk I, I eat foods that nourish me to give me live to give me life and today we made our own tropical juice if you want me to make anything else comment it down below and i'll get it to you asap peace I want to run. I want to run.